The first lecture is devoted to the overview of traditional and modern methods and approaches of language teaching. Language teaching is a very complicated process, and usually in this process we combine traditional and modern approaches. For effective teaching, we should feel what approach and methods to use in this or that situation. It depends on many factors on your situation, on the student's capacity or pupil's capacity. Uh, you should feel what method and approach use in this or that case. Traditional approaches. We usually refer three main methods to this approach. They are grammar translation method, the direct method and the audiolingual method. All of them are you are actively uh, used in uh, our classes and I'm sure that you know all of them modern approaches mm, natural approach the communicative approach it all it is also mm, abbreviated as CLT the silent way suggestopedia disadistopedia community language learning or counseling learning we can call it task-based instruction or approach, total physical response method, uh, the oral approach and situational language teaching, uh, the eclectic approach and post method. All these methods will be detailed studied during our course, but before it I would like to give you the following definitions. Definition of acquisition восприятие, learning, изучение, обучение, approach, a method, technique, syllabus and curriculum. First of all, let's begin with the curriculum. Curriculum uh, is broadly defined as the totality of students' experiments that occur in the educational process. It's a planned sequence of instruction or to a view of the students' experiment experiences in terms of the educator or school's instructional goals. Curriculum, it is a set of learning goals articulated across grades that outline the intended content and progress goals at particular point in time throughout the school program. Curriculum may be uh, tightly standardized and may include a high level of instructor learning autonomy. Many countries have national curricula in primary and secondary education such as the United Kingdom's national curriculum. And also in Kazakhstan we have national curriculum in for primary and secondary education and even for higher education. Uh, then, syllabus. Uh, the noun syllabus come from the Latin word syllabus meaning list. When you teach a class you may be required to make an outline of what you will expect the students to do in your class. That's a syllabus. A syllabus uh, could mention the topics that will be covered each week or it can be a detailed synopsis of every reading assignment, homework or exam question. Syllabus style is a teacher's choice. The syllabus is a contact between faculty members and their students designed to answer students' questions about a course as well as inform them about what will happen should they, uh, what will happen should they fail to meet course expectation. Um, then, uh, over time, the notion of syllabus uh, of a syllabus as a contact, uh, has grown more literal, but is not in fact an enforceable contract. Uh, language acquisition. Language acquisition is a process by which humans acquire the capacity to perceive and comprehend language, as well as to produce and use words and sentences to communicate. Language acquisition is one of the quintessential human traits because non-humans do not communicate by using language. Language acquisition, acquisition usually refers to first language acquisition, which <coughs> studies infant acquisition in their native language. This is distinguished from second language acquisition, which deals with the acquisition in both children and adults in ad of additional languages. Then, learning. Learning uh, is an act of acquiring new or modifying and reinforcing existing knowledge, behaviors, skills, 
values, ценности, or preferences, and may involve synthesizing different types of information. The ability to learn is possessed by humans, animals, plants, and even machines. Progress over time tend to follow a learning curve. It doesn't happen at all once, but um, builds on builds on and is shaping by previous knowledge. To that end, learning may be viewed as a process rather than a collection of factual or procedural knowledge. Learning produces changes in the organism and the changes produced are relatively permanent. Human learning may occur as part of education, personal development, schooling or training. It may be goal-oriented and may be aided by motivation. Next, uh, definition of approach, method and technique. The difference between technique, method and approach can be explained as follows. An approach it is a set of correlative assumptions dealing with the nature of language teaching and learning. An approach in, is axiomatic, axiomatic, не требующий доказательств. Uh, first describes the nature of the subject matter to be taught. When we use the term approach, we mean that an idea or theory is being applied, uh, that whatever the teacher does, certain theoretical principles are always borne in mind. Then, approach, it is a set of assumptions about the nature of language and language learning and doesn't involve procedure and provide any details about how such assumptions should be implemented into the classes. Such can be related to second language acquisition theory. There are three principal approaches. First, it's a structural view, treats language as system of structurally related elements to code meaning, for example, grammar. Then, this, the functional view sees language as a vehicle to express or accomplish a certain function, such as requesting something. And uh, three, it's the interactive view, sees language as a vehicle from the creation and maintenance of social relations, focusing on patterns of moves, acts, negotiation and interaction found in conventional changes. This approach has been fairly dominant since 1918s. Method. Method is an overall, overall plan for the older representation of language material, no part of which contradicts and all of which is based on the selected approach. A method is a plan for presenting the language material to be learned and should be based upon a selected approach. In order for an approach to be translated into a method, the instructional system must be designed considering the objectives of the teaching, how the content is to be selected and organized, the types of tasks to be performed, the roles of students and the roles of teachers. Like an approach, a method may either be structural, functional and interactive. For example, uh, grammar translation and audiolingual method, it's a structural approach. Examples of functional methods in, uh, include the oral approach, situational language teaching. Examples of interactive methods include the direct method, the series of methods, communicative language teaching, language immersion, the silent ways, the suggestopedia, the natural approach, total physical response, and other. An approach is axiomatic, axiomatic and method is procedural. It consists of a number of techniques. Within one approach, there can be many methods. A technique is an implementation that actually takes place in classroom. A technique is very specific, concrete, uh, and designed to accomplish an immediate objective, such are derived from the controlling method and uh, from the approach, less directly from the approach. Techniques must be consistent with the method and uh, are therefore in harmony with an approach as well. Uh, and a technique is one uh, single procedure. This, uh, this is a system, yeah? You see that uh, methods, they are included in approach and techniques, they are included in methods. Thank you very much. Uh, the lecture, the first lecture is over. Uh, 
I would like you to see you next lecture. Thank you.